Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. We made it to Friday looking at well, one of our brand new weather cameras that we're debuting from East Greenwich looking out across the water towards, uh, that's actually uh, the Mount Hope Bridge. And you can tell a few white caps on the water. Uh, there's a little bit of a breeze. You can see the trees kind of rustling, so bright, breezy, and dry. Right now, temperatures as of this recording around 3.30 in the afternoon in the 60s. We're looking at Newport. Not bad, uh, some hazy sunshine, but otherwise, uh, you know, a decent day. We've got temperatures now as of 3 o'clock, almost 4 o'clock, generally in the low 60s. Should be closer to 70 this time of year, but uh, nice to see the sunshine. Hope you enjoyed it because we do have uh, some wet weather on the way, unfortunately, for Saturday. But at the same time, boy, we really do need some rain. It's been a very dry month of May. So here's the deal. Uh, heading out this evening, uh, weather looks fine. Dry sky. Oh, try that one more time. Uh, dry skies, though. Humidity will be on the rise. So well after midnight and towards daybreak, um, low clouds and fog, especially along the coastline. So when you wake up in the morning, cloudy, foggy, even, could even be a touch of mist or drizzle right along the immediate south shore. This sets up for our 50-50 weekend with rain likely on Saturday. Now, what I envision is just... Very light scattered showers during the morning. Starts to become a little more widespread and heavier during the afternoon. And then much heavier rain Saturday evening, Saturday night. Potential is there for a couple of inches of soaking rain and some downpours. Uh, the good news, uh, much, much better on Sunday. Warmer, dry, uh, with some sunshine. And, and that nice weather will extend into really most of next week. So here's the setup. Uh, fairly quiet across New England right now. Just some thin clouds overhead. Watching two areas of moisture, one across the Carolinas, that's headed our way for Saturday, and another system uh, within the northern branch of the jet stream across the Great Lakes, and that'll be interacting as well. Both sort of working in tandem to uh, bring us some rain heavy at times on Saturday. So let's get in real close, and let's walk you through the forecast, and we'll take you through to uh, watch the time bar up on top. So this is Saturday morning around 8 a.m., and you see some of these little speckles of green indicating some scattered light showers during the morning. Precipitation becoming more widespread, though, by afternoon and early evening and heavier, too. And here we are Saturday evening, Saturday night. And notice how everything's starting to light up in yellow, orange, and gold, indicating at times some downpours. It could even be the rumble of thunder Saturday night. And then notice how the thrust of the bulk of this precipitation is offshore and gone by early Sunday morning. Now, this is 10 a.m. Sunday. We'll start with clouds very early in the morning, uh, sunshine developing by uh, late morning on Sunday and certainly during the afternoon, becoming partly sunny, warmer, dry, 74. That's more like it. That feels more like May. So outdoor activities on Saturday, uh, rather Sunday, uh, go ahead. Here we are Sunday night at about 10 o'clock, looking pretty good. And we jump ahead to Monday morning, 8 a.m., back to work, back to school, sunshine and it really sets up for some pretty nice weather for most of next week as well so we need this soaking rain because after it goes by we don't see much sunday on into next week uh, let's get in real close and take a look at rainfall amounts i'm going to do this in stages so notice by two o'clock saturday afternoon there's really not much in the in the, in the as far as the amount of rain i mean there'll be some showers but look at the amounts they're in hundreds or tenths of an inch but notice during Saturday afternoon and early evening, it starts to ramp up a bit south and east of Route uh, 95 by 6 o'clock in the evening. But once we get beyond 6 o'clock in the evening, everyone getting soaked in with some pretty heavy rain. This this will take us until uh, up until Sunday morning and around 7 a.m., one and a half, two inches of rain, maybe some in, uh, amounts just shy of three inches. Where this bullseye sets up, this little magenta color right in here, I mean, is, will it be here, will it be here, will it be here? A lot of our computer guidance has had has had this little access of very heavy rain, two and a half, almost three inches in, in different locations. But on, on average, it seems to be somewhere near the Route 95 corridor. So bottom line, a soaking rain is likely Saturday evening, Saturday night. For Saturday morning, I, precipitation, but it, it, it appears to be light. So light showers, but likely some showers, uh, upper 50s to lower 60s. And then the rain becoming uh, steadier uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, becoming heavier mid to late day, and generally temperatures that will be in the uh, in the lower 60s. Do expect uh, some poor travel Saturday evening, Saturday night. There will be some big puddles on the roads and some, some poor visibility, so be mindful of that. But uh, outdoor activities on Sunday looking 
much, much better, especially by Sunday afternoon.